Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to every one of you. Welcome to my video. So in this video, we are going to continue our discussion for chapter 4, which is circuit theorems. Okay, and then in this video, we are going to continue our discussion for the second topic, okay, which is source transformation theorem. So what is the source transformation theorem actually? Okay, so uh, this transformation is actually uh, similar to to the concept that you learn in chapter 2. Okay. If you still remember, in chapter 2, you are learned on the topics of wild delta transformation. Then you are also learn on topics of series parallel combination. Okay. So, so what are the key things? What are the key important things that you learn is a uh, you try to simplify the circuit by finding the equivalence circuit. Okay. So the same thing also are going to happen. Okay. You are going to transform your circuit in order to find the equivalent circuit. At the same time, you try to simplify the circuit. Okay? Okay. So, the concept, the objective of the source transformation is actually you are going to transform any voltage source to current source. Okay? Or maybe you are going to transform your current source to the voltage source. So, how, how to transform from voltage source to the current source? So, we need to consider the following figure. Okay? But remember, if you are using the source transformation, you need to remain the reference terminal. So, meaning that if you have a reference terminal is A, B here, you need to remain the terminal. Okay. So, you can't change the terminal. You need to remain the terminal. Okay. So, here you have a voltage supply connected in series with resistor. So, this circuit is actually equivalent to here. Okay. It is equivalent to the current source connected in parallel with the resistor. Okay. Where the value of R here, R here is same. And then, the relationship between the Vs and Is is given by this equation. Okay, So, Vs will be equal to Is multiplied with R. So, meaning that, let's say you have a uh, voltage supply. You connect it in series with the resistor. You can simply uh, transform to the this kind of um, configuration. Okay, How to find the value of current source? You just divide the Vs by R. Then you can find the value of Is okay, by using this formula. Okay, let's say you have a current source connected to the parallel resistor. Okay, and then you need to find the equivalent. You need to transform it to the voltage supply. So what you need to do? You need to find the value of Vs. So Vs will be equal to Is multiplied with R. So this value, you multiply to this. Then you get the value of the voltage source. Okay, so this is how you do the source transformation. So very easy, right? Okay, so before we go to see the example, okay, so you just take note that when you apply the source transformation theorem, okay, please remember that arrow of the current source directed toward the positive terminal of the voltage source. Okay, it means that let's say you have a, uh, you have a what, equivalent circuit just now. You have a voltage supply here, positive, negative. Okay, resistor, terminal. Okay, so when you want to transform it, to the current source so the arrow will be same as the positive terminal okay like that right okay example let's say you have a voltage supply like this negative positive okay so when you want to transform it to the current source the arrow will be like this okay because the 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 sorry the arrow will be equal to toward the positive terminal okay right so that's that's what it means okay. so note number two the source transformation is not possible when your r is equal to zero okay so it means that let's say you have a uh, supply here and then here r equal to zero so when r is zero so it means that it's a short circuit here okay so, if that's the case, you have a water supply, then you, you consider it not connected to any resistor. So, you can't do the source transformation for this kind of configuration. Okay? Right. So, let's move to the next example on how you can use the source transformation to find the value of V0 in the following circuit. So, here is your V0. V0 is a voltage across 8 ohm. Okay, and then you have a current source connected in parallel with the resistor for ohm. 
And here you also have a uh, voltage source connected in series with another resistor which is 3 ohm. Okay. Um, so based on this, you can do the source transformation by transform the current source, this current source and the resistor to the voltage source. You transform the current source to voltage source, supply connected with the resistor. Okay. And then how about the polarity here? The arrow will be going down so that's why it towards the positive signal. Okay, positive terminal uh, and then you can also transform your voltage source to the current source okay so you have a parallel resistor connected to the current source so how about the orient the direction so here is a positive so that's why it moving to the positive terminal okay and then this is the current source i s this is the voltage source v s so basically for the solution, you need to transform the current and voltage sources to obtain the following circuit. Okay, so Vs will be equal to um, I supply multiplied with R. So in this case, 3 ampere multiplied with 4 ohm. So you get 12 volt. And for the I supply will be equal to Vs divided by R. So Vs is 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 ampere. Okay, so here you have a current source connected with 3 ohm. And then you have a voltage source connected in series with the 4 ohm. So next here you have a 4 ohm connected in series with 2 ohm. Okay. So you just add on these two numbers. So the equivalent of um, resistor will be equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay. So you have 6 ohm connected in series with the voltage supply. So what you can do here is you can just um you can just draw the equivalent circuit. Okay. You can just uh, call uh, transform the voltage supply back into the current source. So we have a current source, the direction will be here because it towards the positive um, terminal and then connected parallel with the resistor. So the value of resistor here is a 4 plus 2, 6 ohm. Okay, so here is your new IS, lah, right? So IS will be equal to 12 divided by 6 is 2 ampere. Okay, so you can get this kind of circuit. Right, so 2 ampere connected in parallel with 6, connected in parallel with 8 ohm, connected in parallel with 3 ohm, and connected in parallel with the 4 ampere. Okay, so here you need to find the value of a uh, voltage supply at the 8 ohm. Okay, so that's why you can just simplify your 6 ohm and 3 ohm in parallel first. Okay, you just leave it the 8 ohm because you are going to find the voltage here. Okay, and then here you have a supply 2 ampere. And here you have a 4 ampere. You can actually combine these two current source. Okay, so here the direction will be go up. Here the direction of the current going down. So that's why the I, the total of the current supply will be equal to negative 2 plus 4. Okay, so in this case, negative 2 plus 4 will be equal to 2 ampere. So 2 ampere direction is the to the uh, to the top. Okay, and then uh, combining the 6 ohm and the 3 ohm in parallel so 6 multiplied with 3 divided by 6 plus 3 will be equal to 2 ohm so that's why here you have a 2 ohm connected in parallel with the 8 ohm okay and here is your current source okay so next you need to find the voltage here so um you can actually uh before you get the vo you can find the i first because i will be equal to the by using the concept of current divider rule so i will be equal to Using the current division rule, I will be equal to 2 divided by 2 plus 8 multiplied with the current source which is 2. Okay, you get I will be equal to 0 0.4. So once you find the value of I, you can apply the Ohm's law to get the V0. Okay, so finally, V0 is equal to 8 I. 8 multiplied with 0 0.4, so you get V0 is equal to 3.2 volt. Okay. Okay, next we go to the example 4.4. So based on the following circuit, you need to find the value of Vx by using source transformation. So which one is Vx? Vx is here, which is a voltage across 2 ohm. Okay, and then you have a three different source. Okay, so here is a independent source. Here is independent source, but here is a dependent source. You just take note that you need to transform both dependent and independent source. Okay, so meaning that you need to transform all these three. Okay. However, you can just transform here and here only because here you have a supply connected in series with 2 ohm. So that's why you can transform this. And here you have a 
current source connected in parallel with resistor. So that's why here you can transform. But here, you can't transform it. Why? Because it doesn't have any resistor connected in series with it. Okay, so that's why here you cannot transform it. Okay, so by transform this, you can have a current source going up connected with 2 ohm. So here, here what you have is a voltage supply connected in series with the resistor. So you have a voltage supply. So here is a 4 ohm. And then the value, uh, sorry, the direction of the V is a positive and negative. Because the arrow going towards the positive terminal. Okay? Right. Then uh, you can... So step number one is transform the dependent current source and six volt independent source in order to obtain the following circuit. So this is the circuit that you have just now. Right. Okay. So Vs, V supply here will be equal to Is multiplied with R. Just now your current supply is 0 0.25 Vx multiplied with 4. So resistor is 4. So 0 0.25 multiplied with 4 is 1. So that's why here you have a water supply of Vx. Okay. So remember, this is diamond shape because it is a independent, uh, sorry, it is a dependent source, dependent current. You transform dependent current source become dependent voltage source. Okay. And then for the current source here, Is will be equal to water supply divided by R. So the water supply just now is a 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 ampere. So that's why here is a 3 ampere. Okay, Okay. next, step number 2, uh, you can combine the 2 ohm and 2 ohm resistor in parallel and then transform the 3 ampere current source back to the voltage source. Okay, so this is the circuit that you will get. Alright, so just now you have a, um, you have a current source, okay, connect. previous slide okay so this is your current source so you can transform it to become the voltage source connected in series with the resistor so 2 ohm parallel with 2 ohm you get 1 ohm so that's why here is 1 ohm and the vs here is your vs will be equal to is multiply with r so in this case is is 3 okay 3 multiply with 1 is 3 volt and then this is your final circuit. So based on this, you just need to apply your mesh analysis to the loop in order to find the value of Vx. So here is your Vx. Voltage across 2 ohm. Okay, voltage across the terminal. So this is considered as your terminal lah. Right. So even though you even though you had transformed this configuration into here, but the terminal remain the same. So this is why here is your Vx. Okay. And then you just apply your uh, KVL. So in this case, here you have a, based on the mesh current, here is a positive, negative, positive, negative. Right. So uh, by applying the KVL, you get negative 3 plus I plus 4I plus Vx plus 18 will be equal to 0. Okay. So that's why you apply KVL in the loop. You get this equation. Okay. All right. And then you can also apply KVL to the loop that only contain the 3 volt voltage source. Okay, what does it mean? You just apply your loop here. Okay, so this, you consider this loop only. So negative 3 plus 1i plus Vx equal to 0. Okay, so you get this equation, right? So you can just solve this equation and solve this equation by using your calculator. You can get Vx equal to 7.5 volt. Okay? So, that's all for now. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Okay? Bye!